as a partial requirement for Architectural Design 8 and CAD for AR2. Presented to the Department of Architecture, St. Louis University, Baguio City. Presented by Agnes Azil, Kirsten and Begonia, Gabrielle Marie Gonzalez, and Abram Josh Muglehi. The site for the proposed College of Architecture, Fine Arts, and Interior Design is located in Baguio City. The site is far from the Central Business District and is a high density residential zone. It is accessed by two major highways and located 2.8 kilometers, approximately 10 minutes away from the Central Business District of Baguio. The Ibaloi basket for vegetables, locally known as the Kayabang, is what inspired our building design. Among the Ibaloi's of Benguet province, women are the one who carry these baskets, by means of a strap, worn across their foreheads or their backs. The Kayabang is a basket with a round rim that tapers to a square base. It was used to transport sweet potatoes and other root crops, such as, cassava or taro. By design, the Kayabang is not only very functional, it is also truly unique to the Ibaloi's of the Cordilleras. Its body is constructed using plated rattan with a base made simply of wood. Some features of the basket were incorporated in the building facade, like its tall character, manifested using several vertical elements. The crisscrossing patterns found at the lower part of the building were also paralleled from the rattan plates tied on the basket's wooden base. Welcome to the main building of Cafe Eve, the lobby. The design for the College of Architecture, Fine Arts, and Interior Design should be able to cater different spaces for the diversity of its users' needs. Today, the demands of a modern society cannot be answered by the character of activities and architectural solutions of a non-universal design approach. This central building acts as a reference point to aid users in orientation, an atrium, External views and focal elements such as sculptures, are effective devices used at this area, to guide and promote effective wayfinding. Glass doors are used for main entry points, as it promotes a visual link between inside and outside the building. This would help users be aware of the happenings around them. Ramps provide universal access to complement stairs. Ramps in this building have complied with appropriate gradient of 1 is to 12, and regular landings, as well as other safety precautions, such as non-slip floor finish and handrails. The Audio-Visual Room The Drafting Studio Room With a floor area of 240 square meters An area computed with the use of Fruin's Law in order to aid wheelchair users, the design recommends adjustable drafting tables. Full opening sliding glass doors are also recommended to provide additional circulation area and ensure maximum ventilation. Double opaque pocket doors used for maximum entry clearance to assist handicapped users. Suspended acoustical panels are also designed to enhance sound reverberation and intelligibility. The Faculty Room The Faculty Lounge The Cafe e Boutique A store that showcases the works of students that are for sale The Cafeteria
the library. The design has prioritized pedestrian circulation by providing raised crosswalks, which avoid changes in levels and ease passage for abled and disabled users. The elevated walkways not only serve as an outdoor learning space, but it also prevents the disturbance of the existing natural assets of the site.